Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. This is your brother Chris and my brother Ben. We are here to investigate a very, very bizarre situation where Dore Love baptizes this girl, Irene, and then a few weeks later he's alone with her in his apartment talking about porno without any other brothers or sisters around. And we don't think that that's appropriate. And we've asked a lot of questions here today about this situation and looked into this. And something is fishy about it, and Dore Love has some explaining to do one way or another. We are not accusing him directly of doing anything but uh, inappropriate behavior by being alone with this woman in an apartment. But as a pastor... I'm thinking odds are high something more is going on than what we see. And Dore Love, you can come and uh, knock that down or tell us what's going on because a lot of fishy stuff's going on. Check this out. Right here, it's August 16th, 2020. He's baptizing this girl right here. I like to be baptized because I want what's inside to be reflected on the outside. And inside, I believe in the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And since I'm a new creature, I believe baptism is also like uh, an indicator that I'm not the same person I used to be. I have the Spirit of God inside, and I just want to be associated with this kingdom. And baptism is almost like association. So this girl's basically newly entering his ministry here, probably somewhat of a new convert of sorts, at least a new convert into true repentance or, or a new doctrine that Dore's preaching, because she's getting baptized by him. Now the question is, is he using his role as a leader properly? Is he taking advantage of her looking up to him as a leader and a strong man of God? Uh, and is he treating her appropriately as a single woman or just, you know, a woman that is with him by herself many times? Because Jesus was baptized and he asked us to obey him and be baptized. Okay, now two weeks later on August 30th, 2020, they're over here alone in his apartment in Vancouver. This is Vancouver, right? That's this right. apartment? That's right. This is inappropriate. This man does not belong talking to a woman about porno alone in an apartment two weeks after he baptized her. <laughs> Something's going on here. I don't know what it is, but check it out. Hey, this is Dory Love from the Ministry of the Word. Um, oh, this was this was what? This was two months after they did the video alone in his apartment talking about the porno. He's now introducing her as a new member of his ministry. Listen to this. Um, grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I just want to address something real quick. We have a young lady, a young street preacher that has joined our ministry. Her name is Irene. Uh, here's Dory's sister. Okay. He just described her, let's hear that again, as a young lady... Let me just move this over a second. Father in the Lord Jesus Christ, I just want to address something real quick. We have a young lady, a young street preacher that has joined our ministry. Her name is Irene. Now, he described her as a young lady who joined his ministry. He didn't describe her as his sister. Now, I call JP because me, uh, JP is friends with both me and Dore. And I asked him, who is this uh, girl? What's going on here? Because me and Ben were looking at this video where they were talking about porno in his apartment. And to us, it looks like they're flirting with each other. And to about 10 other people in the comments section of the video, they all accused him and this girl of flirting with each other. So I asked JP who it was. JP told me it's his sister. I said, how is this his sister? She looks like she's from a different place than him. She's got darker skin, different facial structure, everything. 
he said, I don't know, bro, maybe it's from a, a, a different parent, maybe they're half-siblings. I'm like, JP, if this is his sister, why is he introducing her as a new lady that joined his ministry and not saying, hey, my sister's joining our ministry. This is my sister from another mother or, or whatever. You know what I mean? And uh, JP said, I don't know, but I'm a thousand percent sure that that's his sister. So you better not make any videos insinuating that something might be going on. And I said to him, JP, you better call Dore and ask him if this is his sister, because what I'm seeing on these videos, he's never confessing that this is his sister, nor is he ever introducing this woman as his sister. Now, we, now we found a video of JP addressing Irene as Dore's sister, and Dore doesn't correct him. They went on letting, and JP is with Dore all the time, for a while now, for a long while, uh, many months, maybe a year, maybe a year and a half, I don't know, but it's been a while, and they're allowing him to go on telling his friends who are associated with Dore's ministry that this is Dore's sister, and to prove it right here, JP introduces her as Dore's sister. Uh, here's Dore's sister, Irene. Hi, JP. But, uh, hello. What's up? But How are gonna... you? So Dore's sitting there listening to JP introduce her as his sister. Obviously, he wasn't talking about a sister in Christ. He said, this is Dore's sister. You don't introduce a sister in the Lord like that, right? Right, right. Otherwise, he would say, this is our sister, Right. It's like anyone who's watched a mafia movie knows, like, a friend of ours is one of the club of the, of the mafia, but a friend of mine is something different. So he didn't say this is our sister. He said this is Dore's sister. He's calling her a blood sister to him. He's, Dore is not stopping JP from doing this. Neither is Irene. They're letting him go on with this situation. Now, I heard from other avenues that she has lived with him in his apartment. Okay? I heard from other places that she lived with him in his apartment. And all of these guys, JP and all the rest of them, they were under the assumption she was living with him because she was his sister, his blood sister. Now, I asked JP to look into it. He looked into it. And he wants to stay out of it. He's keeping it private, right? He doesn't want to be involved, but he never came back to me and told me that this was his sister. So I'm assuming he may have found out for himself that this is not his sister last night, okay? Uh, here's Dore's sister, Irene. Hi, JP. But, uh, hello. What's up? But How we're are gonna... you? What's up? What's up? You caught, you caught me at the, ro at the middle of an important... Hey, this is Dory Love from the Ministry of the Word. Um, grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I just want to address something real quick. We have a young lady, a young street preacher that has joined our ministry. Her name is Irene. Now, is that how you would introduce your blood sister to the world? No. Wouldn't you say, hey, this is my sister? This yeah. is my half-sister? Absolutely. She just got here from another country. I haven't seen her in 10 years. She's going to be rolling with us now on the street. It's incredibly fishy. It's bizarre, right? It is, yeah. Dore, why don't you answer why you've allowed these young men to go on believing that this was your blood relative? We want to know the answer to at least that. And if you did commit sexual sin with this woman, and we're not accusing you of that, but it looks real bad, buddy, looks real bad, then why don't you confess it and get this off your chest? Because we got you later in this video, you're talking about that you were acting very out of character in this season of your life that you were hanging out with this girl. We're going to go into that. Uh, here's Dory's sister, Irene. Hi, JP. So now we're going to go into hey, this. this. Love for the ministry. This is what first threw up red flags to me, that Dore was, I wasn't even, I, I wasn't thinking in my head, uh, he's lying to people, they may have fornicated or anything like, I wasn't even thinking that, but when I looked at this, to me, it looks like they're flirting with, with each other, and they both look guilty. 
None of them are looking straight at the camera. Doré's got his back to the camera. He's acting like weird, like he just did something wrong. She's acting flirty. She looks like she's blushing. And everyone in the... We're going to read the comments. Everyone, It's not just me that saw this. It was him. And we looked through the comments, and everyone else was saying the same thing. And, that, and not to mention, this guy's always seemingly touching her in the videos we've seen where they're together as well. Yeah, we'll show everyone that, where they're touching each other and stuff. Because obviously it says it's not good for a man to, to touch a woman. That's right. And if he does, it should be he should be married, you know? Due to word, um, grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I just want to address something. Um, grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I just want to address something real quick. We have a young lady. Can you ask a question? We can look pornography. Wow. Can you ask a question? We can look pornography. Wow. We just went out there with it. Straight to it. Okay, let's just jump right into it. You didn't even warn me. Okay, so Dore's back is to the camera. He's looking like, he, he looks like he's ashamed of something. It looks bizarre. She doesn't belong in his apartment. He had just baptized this girl a few weeks before they filmed this. This is inappropriate. As a leader and a minister in the gospel, you don't baptize a young woman. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure she's single. 90% sure, not really sure, but 90% sure. She looks like she's single. If she had a husband, I'd, I'd be shocked if he would let this girl be alone with him in his apartment. That would be bizarre, wouldn't it? So she's in this apartment. They're talking about porno two weeks after her baptism, and no one else is there. And, and nobody except about 10 people in the comments seem to have a problem with this. Me, yeah, I mean, nothing. I did. I said such a thing. <laughs> okay, now to me, she looks like she's flirting with him. And you'll see the comments. Everyone else agreed. Look at this. <laughs> it's bizarre. This is an inappropriate conversation to have a, a conversation about sex and porno alone in an apartment with a girl that just joined your ministry that's this age and likely single. That's right. And this is how immature Dore Love's followers are, that 90% of them will just swallow this down and smile. This, is, this shows that this guy doesn't have real Christians following him on a whole. I'm sure there are some. Yes, there are some. They're likely the ones that we're going to show you their comment. But look at the way she's acting. She looks like she's infatuated with him, and it looks he looks guilty. He looks like he did something wrong. And she looks like she's all flirty, right? Now, this person here said, and this is under the video. The video, again, is called like the Red Couch interview or something with Dore Love and uh, Irene or whatever. This person said, your wife will definitely not like to see this video. Someone else said, valid point. Someone, did that person say, with the flirtation going on, I thought this must be his wife? So this isn't me, people. We're not the ones commenting. This is all strangers. Dore writes, no, not my wife. Ain't no flirting either. God bless you. Dore Love didn't say, leave me alone, you false accuser. This is my sister. Look, he wrote right there. No, not my wife. Ain't no flirting either. God bless you. Is that what you would write if someone accused you of, of doing something inappropriate and it was your sister? Because I would immediately write, ha ha, it's my sister, joke's on you, or something. Or stop accusing me. This is my blood relative. I'll have her in my apartment if I want. But we don't see that from Dore Love. Yet JP is over here. And Dore Love is letting JP call this girl his sister. Uh, here's Dore's sister, Irene. Hi, JP. But, uh, hello. What's up? Well, How are gonna... you? What's up? What's up? You caught, you caught me at a ro in the middle of an important... Wow. It's fishy stuff, right? Really fishy, yeah. Really fishy that he they're letting JP refer to her like that. This, JP's his right-hand man, and he doesn't even know that if this is his sister or not right now. It's ridiculous. Right, right.
How do yeah. you how do you go on for months, probably more than a year, not knowing the status of this woman? Right. When we showed this to JP, at first he was totally convinced that this was his blood relative. Then he was bewildered, and that's where it ended off after that. So what's up, Dore? You got some serious questions to answer, Dore. Let me ask you a question. What do you think about pornography? Wow. So he's asking her about porno. Here's another comment. After watching the song about your wife leaving you, because at this point Dore's wife uh, already left him, um, the, this person says, I find this disturbing and inappropriate. I've been watching your videos for a while now because my husband enjoys them. However, there's a noticeable change in you. I pray that you take some time to be alone with the Lord. You do not, you do not need an audience. Remember, pride goes before a great fall. God bless you, brother. And then the people are asking, what's the song? And then Dore posts, or somebody posted the song where Dore was distraught that his wife left him. Do you think Christian women and Christian men watch porn equally? Not really. I think guys are more plagued mm -hmm. by this thing more because, first of all, naturally guys are weaker in in a sense. In a sexual sense? Yeah, in a sexual sense. Yeah. So she's saying guys are weak in sexual sin, yet she's in his apartment with tight jeans on and a tight t-shirt alone with him in his apartment, and she knows men are weak sexually. And she knows his wife left him. So, Irene, what are you doing in there? Repent of your sins. Don't do that again. You are not a Christian conducting yourself like this. Right, especially because he's just recently separated, and he's probably, you know, going through... He's lonely, he's he's unstable from it, whatever. Right. It's really not a good place for him to be, in, and she should know that. And, right. and why are we doing this publicly? Number one, because Dore decided to attack our ministry, and that's how we got, you know, our attention went on him. But aside from that, he's posting this and setting this awful example for the young people that follow his ministry. This needs to be rebuked, Dore. You can't just openly hang out with a, a young woman in your apartment alone, post it as an example for all the young men that are following you to see, and, and get away with that, Dore. I don't know how more people haven't exposed you on this. A weaker, because um, they react easily. You know, they're easily taken up by sexual stuff. Um, women have... Say so. Exactly. Mm. Women have a bit more self-control. So. She's saying men are easily taken by sexual temptation, and she's there with them. Someone else writes here. This is the third... <coughs> this is the third comment I'm reading. This looks flirty. It got 13 thumbs up. Some other idiot wrote, why is that a sin? That person's a complete moron, a typical Dore love follower. Why is that a sin? Asking, why is it a sin for a man of God to have a woman he just baptized two weeks earlier in his apartment alone flirting with her? The idiot's asking, why is that a sin? The Bible says don't even put on the appearance of evil, and this guy's alone with her in the apartment. This person comes in like a rocket scientist. Adultery <laughs> is sin, friend. Okay, but how is flirting adultery? Well, if you lust in your heart, you've committed adultery, genius. Did you read the Bible? Right. You could read the other comments here. Let's go to another one. This is the fourth comment. This setting does not look right. This is totally unacceptable from Mr. Dore Love. I have no problem whatsoever regarding the subject, but seriously, brother, did you have to discuss this subject with a lady who is not your wife? Are you serious? I can guarantee you that the Holy Spirit is not happy about this. How could you have cho uh, you could have chosen a brother in Christ or your wife to do this? Did you pray about this? I just cannot believe this. I will have you in prayers. Praise God for this person. This other person under there wrote, I agree, they seem like they are flirting. God forgive if I'm wrong. No, you're not wrong. Look, they're flirting, people. 
You need to be blind and stupid. To me personally, and I'm not false accusing him of doing this, but to me personally, they're acting like they already had sex that day with each other, or they're about to. That's just my perspective on it. I could be wrong, but I can tell you this, what I'm not wrong about. They are flirting. They are flirting with each other. And everybody could see it, not just me. About 15 people under this video accused them of flirting. Not one time did Dore Love say, that's my sister. All he said was, go away, not flirting. Case closed. No, it doesn't work like that, Dore. Everybody could see what's going on. <laughs> Look at this. What about avoiding the appearance of evil? See, there's some smart people under here, right? Yeah. As I stated, we could go back and forth on this. You have your point of view, and I have mine, but I challenge you. Show this video to your pastor, and let's see what he says. Well, I'm a pastor, and I don't like it. But then again, Dore Love thinks he's my authority, so why would he listen to somebody like me? This person wrote, be careful, Dore. Are you okay? Why do you discuss this sensitive topic with a woman next to you? No response from Dore. It's, only It's really strange that he's not addressing this. Like as a public minister, you'd think this would be a, something he'd want to address immediately. Right, but right. But not nothing. Like I was asking JP, how do you not know about this? And he said, I never looked into it. I always thought that she was his sister. And I said, well, didn't he ever tell you? That, they're, that that's not his blood relative. And he said, well, I always just assumed that she was. And he never told me. <laughs> like, it's insane, people. Don't you get it? Something fishy is going on here. Some kind of lie is going on here. I, I pray to God he did not fornicate with this woman. I pray to God he didn't. But in my experience as a pastor, it's a high, high, high likelihood that they are in sexual sin of some kind, and there's a chance they're not, but let Dore Love, uh, let Dore Love come and clear the air. Dore Love, since you have this girl alone with you in your apartment, and since you've uh, let JP go on believing a lie that she's your blood sister, and since we heard that she was living in your apartment with you for a time, under the guise of being your sister, or at least that's what people assumed about it, and you let them go on assuming that, tell us what's going on here. Come clean, Dore, about this situation. This person wrote, I won't finish watching this, but I'm wondering if this is a conversation that a man and a woman should discuss together. Little do these people know that he baptized her into his ministry two weeks earlier. So it's not like she's a seasoned elder in the church. The woman just got baptized in water. Like right. legit. Right. This person wrote, I was so distracted by the awkward flirting over the sexual topic that I didn't even hear the convo. I would not be happy for my husband to engage in a convo like this with another woman. Hope all is okay, Dore. And praying for the loves. Dore Love writes, immature statement, God bless. <laughs> this is like the 10th person that rebuked him for flirting, and this is his response. Immature statement, God bless. Was I flirting with Mike when me and him had a show? Well, no, Dore, you probably didn't have your back to the camera when you did the show with Mike. There, pro there wasn't a young woman touching you alone in, a, in an apartment. When you did a show with Mike, Dore. Mike wasn't blushing, Dore. <laughs> yeah. Mike doesn't have the appropriate parts to cause you to sin, Dore. The you fact know? that this woman's in your apartment alone with you, and this is on your mind to talk about pornography and sexual sin, is strange already. It's bizarre. It really shows how ignorant you really are, and how void of discernment, and how you don't even care about shaming Christ. Really. And how you're not fit to be a leader at all. And how is that not a genuine question they're asking, being suspicious of this? Like, look at the situation, dude. You yeah. shouldn't call someone immature for that. That's like a logical thing yeah. to question. Dore, when I called JP and he told me she was your sister, I'm sending him all this stuff, and he's telling me I'm a thousand percent sure that's his sister. And I'm saying, well, if that was his sister, he sure held back 
clear in the air on all these accusations of flirting. <laughs> and he sure introduced her to YouTube land in a bizarre way that a lady just joined his ministry, a young lady. That's not how you introduce your sister. We have a young lady, a young street preacher that has joined our ministry. Her name is Irene. So I think, I don't even know if JP knows what's up anymore. Because we couldn't even, we, he had to go to bed. I couldn't even finish talking to him. Here's Dore Love. After we, I believe this is after he moved back to Toronto, right? This is, if I recall, two this, months ago. This is two, he was in Toronto then, right? That's right. That's right. So here's Dore Love meeting this girl in what looks like, it looks like a hotel room, no? It looks like a hotel room, definitely. Which could be a good sign, because I guess she, maybe he had friends around the area, didn't want her staying at his place, because it, he sure doesn't mind being alone in this hotel room with her. Right. So why get a hotel room if you're just going to walk in there and be alone in there with her anyway? <laughs> Does that make any sense? No, no, no sense. Why get a hotel room with her when we already heard that she was living with him and he and people saw her in his apartment a few times? And Dore, if she wasn't living with you, clear the air. Because this is what we're hearing, friend. Clear the air. You have your chance. Here's Dore meeting her in an apartment, and then later you'll see that she was alone with him in his apartment, his new apartment in Toronto, I believe, right? right. Or maybe he flew there, where she back to Vancouver, where she is. But then why would she be in an apartment? Right. That exactly. makes that would make no sense. That's right. Clear it up for us, Dore. We're confused. Not really. I think guys are more plagued mm -hmm. by this thing more because first of all, naturally guys are weaker in in a sense. In a sexual sense. Yeah, in a sexual sense. They're weaker. Because um they react easily. You know, they're easily taken up by sexual stuff. So, Women have to, so. exactly. Mm. Women have a bit more self control. So oh, no, really. I think guys are more let me drop the audio out there. Hold on. Okay, so right here, what you see right here is the is the music video that they filmed this day that he met her in a hotel room, right? And what you're going to see is, it's very hard to tell when you first watch this video, but what you're going to see is she's got his arm, she's got her arms up his shirt, wrapped around his body under his shirt, okay? Check it out. There she is standing behind him. You could see her hair coming down over here. You see her legs behind him, and these are her arms up in his shirt. Or these are her or, or are these her hands those, in his those arms. Those are her hands. Yeah, you can see the rings. That's it. Yeah. So she's got her hands in his shirt. He must have his own arms wrapped around his own self, right? That's right. That's right. All right. Nonetheless, her arms are in his shirt while he's wearing it. That she's definitely touching his skin, for sure. <laughs> I mean, like, who cares what she's touching? That's weird. It is weird, yeah. Like, I, like, I would not let another woman put, other than my wife, put her arms in my shirt while I'm wearing it. Right. Even if this is his sister, like, and, it, and I don't think it is, but you'd have to have a valid explanation for something like this. This is, this is weird for anyone. Let alone a minister that's my authority, right? <laughs> yes, right. So-called, right? <laughs> yep. Plagued <laughs> by this thing more, because first of all... Dore, this is such carnal monkey. This just shows how demonized you are, dude, behaving like a fool like this. This shows how you are still an infant in your own mind. Every time, Dora, you're alone with this woman, you have weird ideas. You, you talk about pornography, now you've, you're getting her to put her arms around you? It's weird. Well, naturally, guys are weaker in in a sense. In a sexual sense? Yeah, in a sexual sense. Wow. This woman's probably trusting him to be a leader, and he's probably lonely, and this is just a bad situation. You know yeah. what I mean? She might be lonely, too. Right. She might be like, oh, well, I'll just hang around here, see what goes on with Dore's wife. I don't know what she's thinking. But I'll tell you what, Irene, you owe an explanation. You owe an explanation. The way you're conducting yourself is not of God. Now, right here, when was this, a few months ago? This was one month ago. 
One month ago, Dore is talking about how his behavior went out of whack for a season. Now, he doesn't confess anything straight up, but this is very bizarre. Take a listen. Adam had God all to himself. So I was talking to a brother <laughs> and a sister, and the sister was telling me, Dore, God has to be enough in your life. God has to be enough. And I was telling her, I was using Adam in his example, saying, well, if, if that's true, if that's a true statement, God has to be enough, then why wasn't God enough for Adam? You know, God looked around, and Adam was lonely, so God gave him Eve. You know, so I'm like, and so I would use that as an excuse, and then a the, brother, a few months later, said the same thing. You would use it as an excuse for what? You hear what he said there? Yeah, I heard it. He said, I would use that as an excuse. But that was it. He just moved on past. That's weird. To do what, Dory? He's like, yo, Dory, because I was doing things that are outside of my character, to be honest. You know? Like what? Is it something that makes you unfit to even be doing what you're doing? Right. You're already unfit. What we've already seen, you being alone in an apartment with that girl, you're already unfit to be a leader, friend. Hate to break the news to you. If we find nothing else more than that you did that, you should be out of ministry right now. All right, and just to clarify, the time period he's talking about in this video is the time period where he met Irene and baptized her. Well, it was a time period after his wife left him, then he met her, and it was in that season, right? Exactly, exactly. You know what I mean? I was doing things that's outside of my character. Um, I wasn't acting the same. You know, I was agitated. Um, you know, there was a lot, of, a lot of things that were going on internally. I think you mean to say you were demonized, <laughs> but you don't want to admit that. And it was in your pride. It's manifesting, you know, physically. So it was manifesting physically. What does that mean, Dore? Can you tell us what it was manifesting physically means? <laughs> um. They, they were telling me God has to be enough, and I didn't believe them. I was like, no, nah, it, it can't be that, because I was in so much pain that I was thinking that, you know, God, as soon as you, because I wasn't preaching as much anymore, I wasn't as zealous as I was, and so I was I was telling, I was, you know, talking to the Lord, like, Lord, hey, as soon as you give my kids back, you know, I'll go right back to being on fire. As soon as you give my kids back, you know, I'll stop, you know, um, acting so weird, you know, and stop being so aloof with people. As soon as you give my kids back, you know what I mean? And so I've been saying this for a year and, and nine months. So I was saying this for, for this was like the first six or seven months when this first happened. And so I was like, and so that's what my sister and my brother, they're like, yo, man, God has to be enough. God has to be enough. And they kept saying that. And I just I just kept rejecting it because I didn't believe it. But what I realized now, because I just figured, you know what, I'll just hang in there till my kids come back and then, you know, I'll get my joy back. So he just said he rejected and he didn't believe that God was enough, right? That's right. God has to be enough. God has to be enough. And they kept saying that, and I just, I just kept rejecting it because I didn't believe it. I just kept rejecting it because I didn't believe it. Now let's hear what he says about someone who does that and what happens to them. But what I, what I understand now is that if God is not enough, then sin lies at the door. Because if God is not enough, then that means, you know what? I'm going to drink until my kids come back. Did you drink? You know what? I'm going to smoke until my kids come back. You know what? Did you smoke? Because we got tons of video of both you and Irene saying that you don't think casual marijuana use is a sin. Only if you're addicted to it. Like what? what uh, explain to me, like, like, uh, like I, I struggled with weed, right? Like, uh, like I, I struggled with weed, right? And so I feel free now that I don't, like, I, I don't think weed is wrong. Like, I don't think weed is wrong. But, uh, I, when, when you're addicted to it, it's wrong, right? So now I feel, yeah, I can, I can, I can, uh, I overcame this thing and I can be myself. I can smoke if I want to act myself. I can smoke if I want to act myself. I can smoke if I want to act myself. You know what I mean? Is it, is it kind of like that thing or is that like my video? We got you in another video saying that God won't turn his back on you if you rape or murder. And if people want to watch that, they can go find that on the channel. Now the question is, if you think you can rape and murder if God won't turn his back on you, who's to stop you from getting high and having sex and fornicating? Exactly. I'm going to uh, not preach until my kids come back. You know what? Um, I'm going to use my pain as an excuse to do whatever I want to do. To do whatever you want to do.
until my kids come back. And Sounds like do what thou wilt, Aleister Crowley. Anything goes, God will be there for you. Which is probably why you've adopted your satanic cheap grace doctrine where you could sin all you want and you can't lose your salvation. Your easy believer style, once saved, always saved. Mm -hmm. Because look, if you actually believe the Bible, by your recent behavior, you would probably have to damn your own self. So you'd rather just teach a false doctrine to the world because you weren't man enough to hold it together because you're demonized and you don't believe you have demons. Uh, the Bible says that um, just because we have God's grace should sin abound. And I have compassion on Dore Love for what he went through. Right. I, I've, I'm, I'm not happy about it. I'm, I think it's... I pray to God that his family's restored, but this guy doesn't belong teaching. Absolutely not. We are not happy that you've had this hardship in your life, Dore. We are pointing out severe error in your ministry. You don't belong on YouTube. You don't belong in ministry at all. You are an unstable individual by your own confession right here. That you were doing things that were outside of character. The sins were manifesting outwardly, physically. Right, he said it was for um, months at a time. This right. isn't like a few things. Yeah. This was this happened for so long, multiple people pulled him aside and, and said, what's wrong with you, Dory? Right. Make no mistake, this guy lived in willful sin for a season. And the Bible says if any man is a sinner, especially a fornicator, he shouldn't eat with them. Now, again, we have no evidence that he fornicated, but all roads usually lead to Rome. <laughs> Almost every time in my experience. I've seen better men than this guy, way better, fall to sexual sin. With way less time alone with a woman in an apartment than this guy. Way better men. Men that were seven times the, the godly character that this guy is. Fell to woman. Men that, that believed that they couldn't willfully sin after they've come to the knowledge of the truth, yet still did it. Which makes it not a willful sin in actuality, because they were caught off guard, did it once, and repented. That's not what it seems like this guy did. Right, right. It seems like this guy just lived in it. And it seems like he turned to God and said, if you don't give me my kids back, I'm going to do whatever I want until you give them back. And he tried to twist God's arm, like he tried to twist my arm when he told me, I'll debate you, but you're going to switch your doctrine no matter what when I'm done. <laughs> because this is the nature of this prideful imbecile. He thinks he's God. He thinks he's, he's the king of the world, this guy. Nobody could correct him. Nobody could rebuke him. Now, I think that's it on this, right? Should we put in a few clips of, of Doré saying he believes that... uh? He could smoke weed, and also Irene saying amen to it. Yep. That weed in itself is no sin. Making weed your God is the problem. Hallelujah. What's up, Chris? Amen. amen. Yeah, well, Walker said, is weed actually a sin? But what if it's no. not? 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 What if it's not HDC? It's THC. not a sin. THC. It's not a sin. It's not a sin. That they think smoking weed's okay, too, as long as you're not addicted to it. Yep, we should do that for sure. Yeah, so what's, what's to stop these two from just saying, hey, let's smoke weed today. We're not addicted to it. Yeah. I mean, basically anything goes with this guy's doctrine. What you guys are looking at here is a cheap grace heretic who's not even a true convert. The guy thinks he has nothing evil in him in his flesh. He doesn't submit for deliverance. He's afraid to admit that he is demonized. And this is the product that you get when you're dealing with somebody like that. Exactly. And if King David could fall to fornication and he believed, well, we believe that you can't sin willfully, this guy doesn't even believe that. Imagine him being in a room alone with a young woman. I mean, imagine the potential there. And Irene, if you're covering his sins while you stand next to him and allow him to be a Christian leader, shame on you. 
And if you are out there ministering to people as an immature woman of God that is, is alone in an apartment with a man, shame on you. You're not qualified to minister either. And it's, it's shameful on both of you because I believe you both could be used by God mightily, but you guys are not qualified to be doing anything. Don't ever be deceived that this guy is an entertaining goofball on the internet because that's why people follow this guy. It's not because he's good at articulating the text. It's not because he's intelligent. It's not because he's bearing a lot of fruit. It's literally because he's a dancing clown and he's entertaining to watch. That's why I would always watch him. That's right. I never watched him to learn anything. I watch him because he's a, he's a circus act. He's entertaining to watch. Mm -hmm. He could have been like a TV character, this guy. He's just goofy. He's fun to watch. That's all. But I, I'll tell you guys what. The Bible says, let not many of you be teachers. Dore says that himself, and you're going to be judged for it. And you're going to be judged way harsher because you've raised yourselves up as teachers, and you aren't even close. You aren't even close. Nobody is. Not one person associated with Dore Love is even close, not even a mile away. Wouldn't you agree? I would agree. Everyone's ignorant, right? Everyone's I immature. I haven't seen anyone there that I would consider apt to teach at all. Not even close, right? Not even close. Anyway, guys, I think that's it. Be blessed and have a good night. God bless.